So, welcome back guys here to the NSL Season 3 Week 4 match between Packet Lost and On Fire here being played on NSL Trail. My name is Blind and we see On Fire already in the lead one show. This is the second game. Two week two maps have to be played, so there's three more games in total, including this one. So Packet Lost starting shipping down in the south, the end is up in warehouse. So still the same spawning locations for both teams, but of course now switched around. Aliens in the north, the Marines in the south, plays a little bit different, obviously. And for the opening, on fire setting three aliens here to just one ring observation. Oh god, more dead. Let me see the death cam because he will definitely die on this engagement. On fire is taking way too long. Look at the minimap on top left. They're still not going. It's just one Marine. I think they're not quite sure how many they are. And they're losing way too much time on this. Not good, but on fire. That's what he had actually abandoning them. That's that's exactly what they shouldn't do. And the same time, because at the same time we see two Marines made their whole way up to platform, they can bring themselves in a really good spot here. Just two skulks and two v two, and that whole way the Marines should definitely win any day. So let me check out this engagement. If on fire will go or not, you can't tell the Marines. The aliens are actually they're waiting for more because they know they can't go. Seal Master and Retry, they're calling out for the teammates. Drifter's already here. Trying to bait some bullets. Moraes are way too smart to do that. Here we go, his engagement. Seal going down really fast. Retry takes the kill. But Shinwa with the pistol. Oh, Retry is so low. Come on. He gets him down. Nice job by on fire. At the same time, they're also cleaning out that Kappa more dip in observation. But honestly, that was. I mean, on fire won both of those engagements here, but it shouldn't. They shouldn't have. I mean, the the play distribution, the positioning was not really good at all, to be honest. So, but in the end, Packet lost now, losing some engagements. It's okay still for them. They're sitting on three extractors for the moment. They opened up with second IP and a fast arms left. Uh, sorry, armory. So might see fast face gate as well by this team. And uh, nice job by Zero, just going behind enemy lines, shooting down logistics. Really annoying because the camper here and observation will have to deal with that. You don't want to have Marines run back. You basically, every time you want to move forward. But the problem is there's going to be way too many aliens in here. At least... Oh, they're going straight for the base. They're going straight for the base. He let them slip through the commander going out. Nice kill by Insanity. Amazing shots. Really nice without a map pack. Here we have a spawner clearing that out. And it's Packer is left. Good clean out, good clean out by the Moraines. Still one more scout retry coming in, but with that spawners, Insanity the commander, but he's a really nice shot I have to say. Really good job here, Insanity. Nothing happened in the base at the same time the pressure worked on platform. Did it kill a harvester there? Let me check. Yes they did, so Ellens didn't really win much. On fire, I think it was a bad decision making. They should have just killed logistics, kill a cap on observation and take down two RTs instead. Right now. They basically let all the archers live for the Marines and lost two harvesters at the same time. That's, this is kind of the worst case scenario. So if you want to practice solid gameplay, um, you should not rely on base rushes like, like this. I mean, of course there's always timings where you say, oh, the Marines are all out of position, let's go base, base, base. So I can completely understand what they did there. I mean, the two Skulks running past the one Marine in here and the one Skulk, there was no Marine in the base, but really nice reaction time. And if you, have, if you have good, solid Marines, you should be able, you really should be able to hold on three Skulks. You should be able to defend with the Commander, two IPs, and a Marine close to the base. So that's that's a good number to hold on. The obvious um, base rush counters, of course, if you see all five Marines in position, like a three-man pressure here, two-man pressure there, then you go for the base. If you have an easy way to get there. So, Zero Master and more dip holding logistics. There's way too many Marines just chasing one Skulk, so no pressure being done here by Packet Loss. On fire sitting now on five harvesters, which is amazing for them. Oh, Packer missing too many bullets here on the Skulk. Lots of medbacks being dropped, <laughs> the medbacks not hitting. Or the Marine just jumping over the nice kill by Zero Master and that 1v1 engagement. And it really feels just a little bit that packet loss, um, just by the aim, is not up to par with on fire. 
But it doesn't have to say a lot, because, I mean, we saw it in the Alien game, they needed like 5 to 8 minutes to really warm up, to really come in the game, and start willing all the engagements. And maybe the same will happen here this time, because the phase gate is almost ready, they really want to have this phase gate in the hub, and we have already 3 Marines here. 3 Marines, retry getting an upgrade, not lurking, and 2 Skulks, oh, so it should be fine, yeah. Skulks running past, that's the best what retry can do, is actually go on that... Now go on the RT. He's going in the base instead. Okay, it's. I mean, there's no face gate. What are the Marines doing? Oh my god, they're just running into the heavily fortified position in Mezzanine. This is a bad idea. They needed the face gate up instead. And here we go. We see a Lurk and a Skulk. Retry with the Lurk. Cleaning up those Marines. The commander is down. The commander is dead. The Marines are in here. And. Did all the Marines and Mezzanine die? Yeah, you can't really do much in Mezzanine with that, with a whip, a crack, and those the Hydras, it's really hard to break, especially if aliens are close by. What you rather can do is just go platform and server. Like, those two RTs are easy to arrest, and another quite interesting idea sometimes is put up a face gate in hub, and then a second one in server room. Because it will block off, basically, a good second tech point, or the natural second tech point, by the aliens. And only leave them up with <laughs> repair. Nice job, Shin, for getting a Volta kill. Amazing double kill here by him. A lot of map packs drop, but he couldn't reload his LMG. And it will clean up against Zero Master, which, who is doing a great job as a scout guy, I have to say. 5 4 on a score. And then we have retry with 11 kills so far. Amazing skulking from his side. And on the Marines, on the same time, we have yeah, Shinwa leading the score, but the rest of the team, oh, doesn't look too well on the kills. So with the, to open up the team kills, you can see a big advantage here for the aliens. But in the end, that's not gonna decide an outcome of a game. It will help a lot, but... I mean, if you can do some more mistakes, you can basically give some free kills here to Marines. And unfortunately, for Packard lost the phaser out in time before the phase gate is up. And that was the biggest mistake, I think, by Insanity. Not getting this phase gate instead of pushing Mezzanine earlier. Or maybe there was a miscommunication. Because Insanity had to lock out at the same time defend the base while the Marines are pushing Mesa. Or maybe they didn't listen to the orders. Everything can happen on matches, you know, because those units are not AI controlled like a Starcraft, they're actually human beings and they can screw up, they can like, oh I didn't listen or just have their own hand. And everyone who's playing competitively knows that. So here we go, um, Packard was playing from a little bit back hill position here, really trying to get the space get up in the hub. With all the fates on the field now, three in total, just two Marines, they need at least three to make this. Just sending two will not help. Especially without shotguns. They do a shotguns research for the moment, but this will not work out if it just sent you to. Oh, retry getting pretty low on health here against just weapon one LMGs. Oh, we go. Oh, this might turn into an all in. Oh, this might be a shotgun rush. This is a shotgun rush. Oh my god, what a move. And a lurk will scout it. Lurk scout it. Windaloo sees it. Windaloo sees it. Calling it. Oh, they're not going for the hive. They're just going for the RT, okay? This is not gonna be a shotgun rush. I really thought for a second because the game looks really bad. Look at that, down to two extractors in total. But Packet Loss not going for that. Oh, they cannot afford anything. I'm not sure that armory is really worth it. They need to save up for an extractor for the moment. If they really have to get re equipment, they can just use the face gate. Oh, one fate is down! Retry, where the hell did he die? Close to the face gate, in or. Very nice. Unfortunately, I missed that. Damn it. Damn it. That's my second nickname. Always miss the action caster. Damn it, I lost the fake kill. But, we're still there. Two fates alive, Seal Master and Alde Dufo. I really hope I'm pronouncing the names right because I don't know those plays really that well. Or Ale Dufo? I say Ale Dufo. So, Soma and Vindaloo here working on our team. Vindaloo doing a nice job as a lurk. And more and more RTs are falling, but we have ore up. So Marines will come back to two extractors, which is still pretty bad. If you look on RT graph, whoa, what a big difference here on the rest. It's getting bigger and bigger the whole time. 
And do we have an honor saver? No, we don't. Soma almost there to fade 39 resources. He was the gorgeous to start putting up all those hydras, I guess. So repair is under alien control for the moment. Also elevated transfer. Nice job inviting all the power nodes down because it will slow down any Marines coming here and trying to cap anything. And we see the Marines are really pushing hard into that hive. Maybe they have a little opening where they can do it, but no they're not. They're actually pulling back. What are the Marines doing? It lo really looks like Insanity or the team in total is thinking about what they can do to come back this game. Silver Room is growing for them, no it's actually already grown up. So except for killing lifeforms... Oh nice echo, oh my goodness. That's really mean. Sisted up here, got all the whips in here and all processing will die. This is a beautiful move by Smaragor. And the Marines did allow this to happen. I mean they had two or three Marines in here but the life form powering, just overpowering all those Marines and the falling back to repair. And there you see the effect of fighting down the power node in this case. It will take much longer so the aliens have the time to group up coming here before phase gate is up. Fine man with the shotgun trying to do his best. There's another scout in the corner and the Merc. And you can see there's not many med packs being dropped. Marine down to 5 HP, he can't do anything versus the med pack. And looks like Insanity is really trying to save up any kind of resources. Oh, <laughs> retry solo! Oh no, he's still alive! Oh my god, there he goes down. Gorgy down. Yeah it's, yeah, it's a really terrible situation with just two RTs in total. It's hurting the Marines so much. As a commander, we really don't want to drop any med packs. So we see um, they might even drop the extractor before the phase gate, just because they can't afford everything. So now here we go. Phase gate being dropped, which is actually a good idea because the aliens are going straight into the base. Oh, that arm slap is almost down, look at that, 20%, no one well did that before. Arm slap is down, oh my god, the Marines are down to zero zero upgrades. But it can still kill some life forms, maybe? Nope, they can. Both phase are too low, they have to run. We will not be able to take on anything, but every structure lost hurts so much with just two RTs up in total. And it takes 20 TRS to drop it again. Maybe they just, should just drop the extractor and repair and then drop the arm slap next because they need the income so badly. But at the same time they have to hold up, hold against those life forms. They lost, yeah, the dropping extractor. So I like Insanity's thinking, just holding defensively just without any upgrades and get the arm slap next. But I mean, you can see it on just on the map control, this is basically a complete on fire's territory here. And it is again on fire's game to lose. Really nice job and in the early game. Although, I mean, the positioning wasn't the best at all as you could see. I think that just the personal skill, the individual skill by those players, quite enough to take on this alien game. Which is not over yet. Which is not over yet. Let's go really, really hard for the Marines. Just about to get this arm slip back up. 21 rest just dropped in the base. No rest to med pack any of those <laughs> marines. And the harassment is going on and on. And here we go. Big ambush coming into repair. Grinding on that face gate. Two face the LDF for Zero Master and the Lord Vindaloo. Just grinding that. The marines trying to come back in time. We see med packs being dropped. Wings jumping in. Nice jump by Moa. Dip buying some time. Actually driving off those fates. Tanks and bullets, but you see there's already a healing station here in the corner. The aliens know exactly they have to just take down repair and box in packet loss into shipping and that's gonna be GG. If they can afford to take down this phase gate. Right now they don't yet and the arm slab is not even fully built. Here we go. Finally weapon 2 is coming back online. With that they might have a chance to take down some of those life arms. Which is the only way. Really absolutely the only way for packet loss to come back in this game is kill those fades. And even if they do, look at that, even the old T-Tiris income at on fire can be utilized into tons of whips and cracks and everything. Which is even taking out whole observation. This is well. What a base. Absolutely impossible for the Marines to break, especially at the moment, so uh, they have to focus just on defending repair room. This is a dire moment here for the Marines. And they're using arts. Not too bad at all. I mean, if, if you have the feeling that the aliens are not good enough to kill your shotgunners, because it's just fates and you kill the fates, and basically everything that's hurting you is all those kind of structures with like echo and vips and whatnot, 
then Arx is not a bad idea, especially considering that the third tag point here. I think Ruri on fire should have dropped this hive long earlier. Um, there's always the, the possibility of containment, which is really hurry. I mean, you just echo a bunch of whips in there, and can just repeat, rinse, repeat the whole time, and, and you will kill the marines at the end. So Arx is the only way to counter this kind of um, structure spam, whip spam by aliens. So they're trying to really draw it out as long as possible. But in the end there will be, I think, also two or three on us available for on fire. For the moment, um, Vindaloo is on 60 res. Nice job on lurking, he stayed alive the whole time, so he could possibly go on us right now, but of course he won't. He will wait until like 76 resources, when he can afford also the two upgrades for the on us, before that it makes absolutely no sense to sacrifice the lurk. And you will see, if he hits 70 or PRS, he will play much more aggressive, or even already now, as a lurk. Yeah, just flying in against shotguns. We see the whole Marine team is actually down, grinding on the face can repair, and I think we might not even see an Ana in this game, because the face are just enough for the moment that face gets getting through. You know, all the Marines are dying as the moment they face in. There we go, repair room is down, Marines are just down to the base, actually have to spend Marines to defend that. Using Arc to siege out observation, ooh, and retry is such an annoying gorge here for the Marines. A cutesy gorge, bybong them, keeping the Marines busy dealing with the gorge while the Fates took down repair and... Yeah, <laughs> and the whips doing the rest. So here we go, repair room under alien control, and there we go, GG has been called by Packet Loss, realizing there's no way to come back in this game. And we see a 2-0 lead from, or 4 on fire in this match for the moment.